Capitalism is eating itself. That's not ideology, that's observation. Look around, everything costs more, everything is worse. The food is smaller and full of things that aren't food. The products break faster, the services don't serve. The platforms that were supposed to connect us exist to extract from us. The jobs pay less and demand more. The algorithms know what you want before you do, not to help you, but to sell you. And every quarter, the line must go up. That's the engine. That's what drives all of it. Publicly traded companies don't exist to make good products or treat people well. They exist to generate returns for shareholders. Not profit, profit growth, forever, exponentially. Where does infinite growth come from on a finite planet extracted from finite people? It comes from you. It comes from shrinking your food while raising the price from adding fees to things that used to be free, from replacing workers with apps and then charging those workers to use the app to find new work, from making everything a subscription, from monetizing your attention, your data, your loneliness, your fear. This isn't a conspiracy. It's simpler than that. It's just math. If the system demands infinite extraction, it will extract until there's nothing left. And here's the thing everyone can feel, but most people aren't saying yet. It doesn't matter. Not because it's not evil, it is. Not because it's not causing suffering, it is. But because this entire system is about to become obsolete. We are witnessing the last days of the economy as we know it. Within 10 years, maybe 20, most of what we call work will not exist. Not because of policy, not because of revolution, because of technology. AI is not a tool like previous tools. It's not the printing press or the assembly line. It's a replacement for thinking for creating, for analyzing, for deciding. Anything that can be done on a computer, which is nearly everything in the modern economy, can be done by AI. And it will be. Not because CEOs are evil, though some are, but because the system requires them to cut costs. If they don't, their competitors will. If they don't, the shareholders will replace them with someone who will. So what happens when there are no jobs? Not fewer jobs or different jobs, no jobs or near enough. What happens to an economy built entirely on the idea that people trade their labor for money to buy things when there's no labor to trade? What happens to capitalism when there's nothing left to capitalize? It ends, it has to. Not because we choose to end it, but because it won't function anymore. The question, the only question that matters is what comes next and who decides. Because there are two paths here. Path one, the people who own the AI own everything. The wealth that's already concentrated becomes absolute. A tiny class of trillionaires controls the means of all production, all creation, all distribution. The rest of us become irrelevant. Not exploited, you have to be useful to be exploited. Just surplus. This is techno-feudalism. This is dystopia. And it's the path we are currently on. Path 2.
We recognize that when machines can provide abundance, hoarding becomes obscene. We distribute the output of the machines to everyone. We decouple survival from labor. We stop pretending that earning a living makes sense when there's nothing left to earn and the living can be provided. This is the path to actual freedom. To people doing things because they want to, creating because they're inspired to, living because life is worth living, not because they're terrified of starving. That's the fork in the road. That's where we are. All the nonsense we are dealing with right now, the shrinkflation, the enshittification, the gig economy, the subscription hell, the platforms that treat us like products, it's a dying system thrashing. It's the last stage of the game. It's monopoly at the end when one player owns everything and everyone else is just waiting for it to be over. But here's what the people running things don't want you to understand. We don't have to keep playing. The technology that makes their system obsolete is the same technology that makes a better world possible. Abundance is not a dream, it's a distribution problem. And we are about to have the tools to solve it. If we don't let the same people who broke the old system design the new one. This isn't about reform. It's not about policy tweaks or better regulations or voting for the right person. Those things mattered in the old game. The old game is ending. What matters now is what we build after, what we demand what we refuse to accept. Money might not exist in 20 years, not because of collapse, because it won't make sense. When AI can produce anything, when automation provides everything, what exactly are you paying for? What's the scarcity? There is none. And money only measures scarcity. We're heading somewhere no economic theory has mapped. Somewhere past capitalism, past socialism, past every ism into something new. The only question is, do we stumble into it, controlled by the few who got there first? Or do we walk into it together, eyes open, demanding that abundance be shared? I know which one I want. I think you do too.